the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for another day of worship. Today is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, year B. We take our reading today from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, from verse 17 to 30. And our topic is titled, Come and Follow Me. Come and Follow Me. A very religious man ran after Jesus and asked what he needs to do to inherit eternal life. The Lord Jesus Christ told him about obeying the commandments of God. The man said that he had been obeying the law since he was young. The master then told him to go and sell all his possessions, give the proceeds to the poor and come to follow him. We were told in the passage that the man went away sorrowfully. You can imagine when God has told you to sell everything you have to come and follow him. I'm sure it's not an easy task, believe me. And the Bible said that the man went away sorrowfully. He could not afford to leave his earthly possessions to follow Jesus Christ in the hope of eternal life. Many of us grew up in the religious settings. We could almost say that we are Christians since we were born. But like the man in our passage of today, we can score ourselves very high in observing religious rites and activities, but we are not really following Christ. This is because our hearts are still attached, attracted to our possessions and earthly comfort. We want to follow Jesus on our own terms. We want to follow Jesus on our own terms. But the worst of the Lord is that we should leave earthly distractions, lay up treasures in heaven, and follow the Master with the whole of our hearts. That is the way to inherit eternal life. Our earthly possessions may prevent us from fully following Christ. Not in this world should be so precious. Nothing in this world should be so precious to us to prevent us from accepting the invitation of our Savior to come and follow him. What will stop you, my, my dear? What will stop us from coming to accept the invitation of Christ to come and follow him? Brothers and sisters, what is so important to you? The Lord is asking you now. What is so important to you that will prevent you from following Jesus on his own terms and not on our own terms? Is there anything that is too much for you to give up so that you can truly follow Christ? I pray that we will see the goal of eternal life in following the Master as more important than whatever this world offers us in the name of jesus christ amen no matter what this life has given you life without christ is nothing the lord is inviting us today come and follow me it is an invitation what will prevent you from following christ may that not come our way in the name of jesus christ amen i pray for you that is listening to this message come and follow jesus it is an invitation. God is calling you. Come and follow him. The time is now. May nothing stop us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Sunday. And I wish you a lovely week. As you accept this invitation to follow Christ. May the blessings of Christ follow you all the way. Through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday. And God bless you.